Hi you guys, so I'm back with another Battle of the Boxes or Bags. I have Ipsy and Sephora. They're both $10 a month. I don't have Birchbox anymore. Actually last month was my last Birchbox. I was going to do a video on it, um, but I just ran out of time. So I didn't get a chance to do that. But I do have these two. So these are the last two $10 a month bags that I have. Um, I'm thinking about quitting Ipsy also and just keeping the Sephora boxy charm and glossy box so I'm still up in the air on what I'm gonna do but we'll see what happens just want to cut back a little bit I just honestly don't need it so let's do ipsy first let's see this month is there anything else in here hold on okay it's a little bag i do know that um you know the intention of this bag is that you can color it in yourself and decorate it how you want to decorate it and uh, my hair is tickling my nose okay so let's get into the little bag here this is gonna be quite quick i think okay first thing in here is from glossier um it's a coconut balm hmm it says coconutbomb.com universal skin salve so a girlfriend of mine um, at work she opened her ipsy bag and she had brought it to work and she brought this over for me to try it out um, hers that she had was rose at least it felt like rose i used it on my lips and um yeah this one's not the same it was rose flavored it was disgusting to me and i was like oh no i don't like that but I'm not sure if it was exactly the same type of product. But this one, okay, so it's a universal salve. You can use it for whatever. Um, then we have, let me see, Bad Gal Bang from uh, Mascara from Benefit. Let's check out the little wand in here. Oh, okay, this will be, oh, the, it's really nice and flexible too. I like that. This seems like this will be a good mascara for the lower lashes. That looks promising. And, oh, the card. It says create. And let me see here. They do have these markers in here, green and orange, so that you can color the bag. I probably won't do that with green and orange. But maybe I'll give it to my daughter to try out. Um, next is from Hikari Cream Pigment. It says it's in shine cream pigment I wish they had you know information oh well obviously this is an eyeshadow because it's like a very golden shade in here so let me see here cream pigment whoa that is like super duper metallic -y. it doesn't feel like a cream but when you rub your finger on it I'm gonna show you it is it is like high shine like super glossy my girlfriend's texting me telling me don't forget we have to go we're going to a hair appointment to go together tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to stay the entire time my best okay um, so this looks very 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 cool just the way that it applies and how cr it's like creamy but it's powder it's weird but it's pretty cool okay and the next thing in here is it says scone it's a large shadow brush, so it's just like a, a C-type type brush. I know I recently did a video and I was like, oh, anytime you can get eye brushes, it's a great thing. But this particular brush, I don't use this shape all that often. So I'll probably just leave it inside the plastic and give it to somebody. And lastly, is in a little bubble wrap. Okay, this is from City Color. It's a cream and powder um, Glow Duo. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. This is really odd. Cream highlight, powder highlight. Okay. So let me just check it out. This is, ooh, that's the powder. And here is the cream oh the cream is really nice and smooth they're both really pretty this looks like an eyeshadow but that's super creamy too really pretty 
So I really like this highlighting duo. I'm excited to try it. The cream was really nice. The powder was really nice. They both feel creamy, even though one is a cream and one is a powder. I'm super excited about this. So Ipsy was a great bag this month. So we have the highlighting duo. The mascara looks pretty promising. The Sakari Cosmetics, um, I guess, eyeshadow and shine. And something else, something else. Oh, and the brush. There has to be something else, right? There's only four items in here. Am I missing something? Oh, I put it on the table. And the Glossier, um, what is this? The Universal Skin Salve, which is really good for the cuticles. So I think I'll probably be using this for the cuticles. So overall, really nice bag for $10 a month. Can't beat that. Put this one to the side now. All right, next is the Sephora Play Box. I already opened this. I actually opened this out at work. I brought it to work with me to open. So I already tossed everything out of the bag. This was the bag this month, and it's really, really cute. I like that it is very thin. I like this bag versus that white, thick, kind of nylon-like bag. So what does it say? Beauty is my spirit animal. Cute. Okay, and they always have, like, the little handout that they give you. Um, and it's Festival of Beauty. Let me close this up. All right, the first thing is Plump line lip liner from buxom and what color is this one let me see what color oh it's in hush hush because it says it right there hush 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 so it's a big lip pencil and on the other end it has a brush which i probably won't use but that's nice to have i'm gonna try that out my lips are like super duper dry for some reason i don't know i haven't changed up anything but my lips are so so dry Actually, let me go ahead and try this lip liner out really quick. I'm only using the viewfinder, so I can't really see if I'm getting everything. But it's a pretty color. I like that. And next we have from Dr. Jard, it's a beauty BB cream in light medium. A concealing, beautifying, and sun protecting beauty balm. Reapply every two hours. Hmm, that's, I, I wouldn't do that. I can tell you right now, I wouldn't do that. Okay, so it's been sitting on my hand for a little bit. I'm, I gotta finish this up because you can see the sun is going down. Okay, the sun is starting to go down and it's like, coming out of the clouds it's going in the clouds it's changing up anyway so I had the beauty balm on my hand and it did settle it's dry I mean I don't think I could say it's smear proof because I'm pretty sure if I put my finger on it and smear it it's gonna smear but I would expect it to but um, yeah it's not my shade it's very pinky um, I don't think that that's gonna look good on my skin tone and from Lancome it's miel and mousse Foaming Cleansing Makeup Remover. I actually just saw this morning, um, Thrifty Thick. She did like a whole, like she was using all the products. I thought it was shaking in there. And um, I really liked her video, the way that she did it. It was pretty cool. So she unboxed everything and then she used whatever product she could use of getting ready and then taking off her makeup at the end of the day with this. So she didn't really like it. And it's like this really thick, jelly, gross looking snotty consistency but uh, you know I'm still gonna try it out but when I saw this it made me think about her talking about how snotty it was because that's how she described it which I thought was funny. Um, next is from Marajo hair care it's a nourishing cleansing cream and a deep treatment butter the Marajo hair care is a luxurious shampoo and conditioner duo packed with nutrient rich butters and botanical oils that smooth hydrate and add major shine. So it says the key benefits are hydrates, repairs damage, and adds shine. I'm doing this at the end of the day, so without throughout the video it goes, you know, the sun is out, it's behind the clouds. The sun is out behind the clouds, sorry about that. Ooh, from Briogeo, I really like their products. This is the Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Hair Spray. Cool, it says spray throughout clean, damp hair with focus on the roots, prior to blow drying. Okay, that's cool. 
Actually, I'm going to the hairdresser tomorrow. I wonder, you know, if I can probably just bring this and ask her, hey, have you ever used this? Do you know about this brand? I think I will. And my girlfriend that's going also, she has like really thin hair like me, but hers is like really, really straight how mine used to be. And uh, maybe she wants to try it too. I think she gets the Sephora Play Box as well. But yeah, I think I'll bring this with me tomorrow. I'm curious what the Briogeo um, spray says. Dual action spray that provides instant volume and texture. Um, hold the bottle a few inches away and spray through dry hair before back combing the roots for rockstar volume. Turn it down, hold the bottle a few inches away and spray through clean, damp hair, focusing on the roots. Brush through and blow dry. Hmm. Uh, lastly in here is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Crayon. Oh wait, wa it's waterproof. Um, this one is in the shade, let me see if I can read it on here, Blonde Ambition. And I guess you could have gotten multiple shades. It looks like a gold shimmery color. So one, two, three, four, five. So five items. Okay, this was a really nice box too. We have the cleanser and conditioning balm or whatever that is, deep treatment, the Briogeo, um, the cleansing, what is this? Like it says mousse, uh, the BB cream, which is not particularly for me, the Buxom lip pencil and the Sephora eye pencil. So I thought that this box was a really nice box and yeah, um, I like them both. I thought they were both really good. $10 a month, you can't beat that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you again in another video. Uh,